On the first anniversary of his disappearance, the family of the Belgian backpacker Theo Aye believes someone has crucial information that could reveal what really happened to him. Police suspect the teenager died in an accident after leaving a nightclub in Byron Bay. But his godfather claims there's not enough evidence to support that conclusion. Here's crime reporter Mark Reddy. From adventure to immense sorrow, as the family of this Belgian backpacker struggle to swallow a dark reality. He was instead of he is. But um, look, he is a... Um, an amazing, an amazing young man, and, and really all the moments that we spend together are, are really good memories. Theo Ayer was wrapping up his Australian odyssey when he vanished a year ago. The 18-year-old was last seen here, leaving a popular nightclub in Byron Bay. Instead of going back to his hostel, he went the other way, towards a lighthouse. After almost six months, police caught off the search, and then volunteers found this. It's uh, nearly a uh, hundred percent um, confirmation that it was Theo's hair and, and so Theo's cap. The cap was found in remote bushland near Tallow Beach. The likely theory, according to police, was Theo Aye fell from cliffs and was swept away in rough seas, but his family isn't convinced. We believe that he, he was not alone. He was most probably with somebody who knew the place. And while time has gone by, the dedication from some locals is yet to fade. They're working on a social media campaign to widen the appeal for information. Byron is such a transient place and there may have been travellers here at the time that he went missing who are unaware that they are holding crucial information. Even though police suspect Theo Ayer died from an accident, it will ultimately be up to the coroner to try and work out exactly what happened to him. An inquest will be held here in Western Sydney with a date yet to be announced. The whole Byron community has felt the presumed loss of this young man. Not knowing it is the, more, the biggest torture of, of them all. A feeling that extends overseas to Belgium, where the anxious wait for answers continues for his parents and little brother. Mark Reddy, ABC News.